If you need an application that will manage all your social media marketing ventures in one place, then this video is for you because in this video, I bring you with an amazing software called Icono Square. Now, Icono Square is a product that was created to make your social media marketing ways easier because of the features that it brings you. The features contain all of the different fields of work that you need for your social media marketing, like analytics, publishing, and a whole lot more. And I'm going to be discussing that all in great detail and in great depth. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end so you can get the full idea of what we're talking about here in this video. So to start things off, first of all, we're going to come to iconosquare.com, which is their website. Now, when it comes to how it works, I'm going to be going ahead and uh, discussing that further on in the video. First of all, I'm going to discuss how you're going to sign up with it. What's the pricing? What's the you know ballpark of the features and how you are going to get adjusted with its interface? So first of all, the interface is pretty fun, like, you know, on their homepage, it's a really user friendly UI. You can see over here, make your life as a social media marketer way easier. You get the advanced analytics and reporting, post scheduling, collaboration tools to collaborate with other users, and AI power tools. So you can try it for free or you can get a paid demo. Now, as you can see over here, they're also giving you a small glimpse of what it's supposed to look like. So this is the general, you know, view and idea of it. And it says, we're trusted by more than 10,000 other satisfied customers around the world. And look at the amount of brands they have. Jimmy Choo, NASA, FC Barcelona, L'Oreal, Gymshark, Lonely Planet, Ben and & Jerry's, and a whole lot more. And it keeps going on and on and on. So you can see a lot of brands trust them. And even in the features, you can see you have analytics and reporting, scheduling and publish collaboration with your team and you can also get inspired with the AI tools that they provide you which I'm going to be using. So first of all to sign up we're going to go ahead and see the pricings you know what plans and pricing does it provide us. So first of all you have the single plan which is $49 per month then you have the teams plan which is $79 per month and then you have the custom plan okay so for the custom plan obviously you're going to need to contact them and the custom plan pretty much gives you everything unlimited. So you know, that's just a big buff up perk. Then moving on, you have this uh, single plan, which will give you one user privilege, 12 months of data retention, and then you get access to email and live chat support. So pretty incredible, right? And you can get a 14 day free trial. Then you have the team's plan, $79. Up to 10 users can be used. You can have five social profiles on this. 24 months of data retention and from 10 social profiles you can benefit from tailored onboarding and training now obviously all of their plans include things like industry leading analytics paid versus organic results content approval workflow and all these things that you can see over here there's even more features if you go more in the depth and you can see the different social media platforms you can get those features from so you know make sure to check this out whenever you want to but yeah once we've talked about that and once we've seen the features that it provides us, let's get into the plan. So for this, we're going to go ahead and click on start my free trial. And as we click on start my free trial, it's going to bring us here. So sign up to Icona Square, start your 14 day free trial, no credit card required. How incredible is that? So we're going to create an account for an account. We are going to go ahead and uh, add an email. So I'm going to choose this temp email that I have and then you have the password, okay? So now that we've added the email and password, I'm gonna go ahead and accept the terms and click on create my account. Now, once we create our account, it's gonna bring us here. It says, please confirm your account. So to confirm our account, just go to your email, okay? You're gonna go to your email inbox. And once we come to our email inbox, it's gonna be sending us the uh, email that we have added onto Icona Square. And here we are. So you're simply going to click on this email. You're going to scroll down, click on confirm. And once you click on confirm, it's going to take you into the app interface of Icona Square. So here we go. Your account is confirmed. We're going to go ahead and close this down. And here we are. So from here, we start setting up our account. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and add my name, my company. Then you have your time zone. You know, what time zone do you want to work in? How many social media profiles do you currently manage? So I'm going to go for one to five right now. I'm not going to go too high or too low. How many team members manage these profiles? 
So, you know, as many team members you have, I'm going to go with less than four right now. And then you have what describes you best. Are you an enterprise agency NGO? What are you? So I'm going to go with small or medium business and click on next. Now, once we click on next, it's going to be bringing us here. So let's connect your social profiles. Add as many profiles as you want. You know, you can connect via your Facebook account. You have Instagram personal profiles and a whole lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my Facebook pages for now. So I'm going to go ahead, click on all set. It's going to be redirecting me to my Facebook to take consent from my pages. So I'm going to click on continue because I have quite a few pages in my personal Facebook account. So I'm going to click on continue. And once you click on continue, it's going to be adding those. But obviously, you don't necessarily need to add Facebook pages. You can add any type of other medium as well, like Instagram, personal pages, Twitter, TikTok, whatever you want. So once we're over here, it's going to ask me to choose the pages that I want to add. So these are all the pages I have. So I'm going to add them and click on confirm. And once we click on confirm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wait for it to load. And from here, it's going to make sure our connection is successful with the meta servers. And once everything is good to go, you know, go into the step three, which is obviously getting a successful connection. Now, you can also connect Instagram business profiles if you want to. You can connect your Twitter profile if you want to. So with my Facebook, I'm also going to go ahead and authorize my Twitter. So I'm simply going to go ahead and add a password for myself. And once we do that, I'm going to click on authorize app. And once we click on authorize app, we should be good to go. So once all this is done, it's going to take us to the main section of the sign up. And let me show you what it looks like. So here we are where it says, congratulations, you've successfully added seven social profiles and you can start your 14 day free trial right now. So I'm gonna click on start my free trial. And once we click on that, it's gonna bring us here. So here we are, hello, John, your onboarding process has begun. You know, it's gonna give you steps to, you know, properly onboard yourself to properly get familiarized with the program. So the first step that we have was create a dashboard that we've done because this is our dashboard. You know, we've created everything, different dashboards for different pages you can see on the right hand side. Then it says generate ideas with AI. So AI is really helpful. It's really useful. And you can generate ideas using this pretty easily. So it says we'll help you come up with tailor made post ideas taking into account your business, your habits, and the context of all the work you want to do. Then you can generate reports in XLS or PDF files, and then you can schedule different posts to be obviously posted on your social media pages. Now, this is obviously your main home dashboard. Then if you come here, obviously you can create different dashboards for different types of pages. I'm going to keep one dashboard. I don't really want to, you know, mess around with it a lot. Now you have the analytics section. In the analytics section, what do you get? In the analytics section, you have the overview, engagement, community, content, reach, videos, reels, page performance, everything related to your dashboard or to your pages work. So let's first of all, go to the overview. Now here's the overview. This will obviously show you the things and the analytics that have been going around with your pages. So it's gonna show you fans per page, gained fans, impressions, fan growth, and everything. This is going to take you through all of that. Then you can also solo out things like how much engagement have I got? What content is the engagement I've got? How's the community going? Have my fans been, you know, messaging me or something like that? So that's what analytics is for. Moving on, you have reports. Now, there are no scheduled reports right now, but let me teach you how you're going to make it. So you're going to click on plus new report. And over here, you can choose what for can it be? So do you want it to be for your social profile, for your dashboard, for a hashtag, or for a competitor? I'm going to go with social profile right now. I'm going to go simple. You're going to choose a page. Let's say I'm going to choose this page over here. Then I'm going to call this test report. Okay, that is what we're calling it. I'm going to make the format PDF. Okay, and it says brand my report. I'm going to go with yes, because then it just shows your name. And uh, what that does is no one else can you know, actually steal your report from you. It's just your report. So once that is done, you can either send your report by email or what you can do is you can send your report in any other format or you can schedule your report. You also have a period and in the period you can choose the timing in which you want to, you know, upload or post. 
this, uh, you know, report that you want to get up on your social media handles. So let's say I'm going to go with uh, any different data that we have. And once we do this, you're simply going to go ahead and click on create report. Now it says your report has successfully been created and you can find a write down over here. So the period of the report will obviously be from uh, the 14th of January till the 2nd till the 12th of February. Okay. And it's going to show you the creation date. Obviously it's pending. It's still being processed, but once you've created a report, trust me, it's scheduled and it's going to go with the time flow. Okay. You have no, or you have nothing to worry about after this. Then moving on, you have things like content where you can create campaigns basically. So to create campaigns, you're going to come here and start uh, again. I'm going to call this test. You have two options, either manual, which is creating your campaign manually with a selection of posts or automatic where the campaign will automatically be filled according to specific criteria. So automatic is obviously AI related. So I'm going to go with this for now because manual is, you know, something easy. The post type, I'm going to go with all. You can add in hashtags if you want to add in labels. You uh, can choose a period. Let's say I want it from 2nd to 30th. And I'm going to click on track a campaign. So once you click on track a campaign, it's going to start tracking your analytics over here. And your post is obviously ready to be sent. And this is a test campaign, basically. So that was obviously a campaign. Now, when it comes to publishing a post, you can come here and click on create a post. OK, right here under publishing. And once you're over here, it's going to give you these options. So what would you like to schedule status, image, video, story and reel? So let's go with image for now. And I'm going to click on create a post and, uh, you know, you can write uh, test post and I'm just uh, going to, you know, add these things over here. You can also ask AI to enhance it. OK, so it enhances the caption test post exploring new horizons. Then it gives us the hashtags as well. You can add different types of media. OK, so I'm going to click on add media and uh, you can add it from your desktop or, you know, however you want it to be. So let's say I'm going to go into my downloads and uh, I'm going to randomly add this uh, image. Make sure the image is 500 by 500 because if the dimensions are not met, obviously that could cause issues for your, uh, you know, Facebook publishing or posting. So I'm going to click on confirm. And once we do this, we're going to click on next. Choose the time on when you want it to be post. And once you do all of this, you're going to click on schedule post. And once you have done all these things, your post is scheduled to be posted at this specific time. So that's pretty much about it. And as you can see here in this calendar view, you can see all the posts that are published and you can click on a certain post and see how you want to publish it and all. So pretty incredible and pretty easy stuff to work with. Then you have all these things like AI content, conversations, listening, and a whole lot more. So this is the basic idea of Icono Square, and this is how you're going to use this incredible application. In the end, obviously, you can scour through the different pages that you have on the right hand side as well. So obviously you have this page over here, but you can switch over to this page. And now you're managing this page's properties or you can switch over to this page and now you're managing this page's properties. You can also change your views to dark mode and, you know, however you prefer. That depends on you. So this is basically how we are going to be working with Icono Square in the most detailed and fun way possible. And that's Icono Square for your social media marketing and handling. So that is pretty much about it for this video. So if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the foreseeable future, please do let me know down in the comments below and I will be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me. Thank you for watching and I will be seeing all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.